everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my 10 spring essentials. So if you guys are interested, then keep watching. So I thought today I'm going to share with you a couple of items that I think are essential for your spring wardrobe. But I'm not only going to do that, I'm also going to do sort of a 10-10 challenge and I'm going to do it in two videos. So today I'm going to show you the items, the 10 items that I have picked for my you know, basic spring wardrobe. And in the next video on Friday, you will see all the 10 outfits that we are gonna to put together with these 10 items. And I personally love doing things like that because that just shows you that you don't need that much clothes to put nice outfits together. Maybe you wanna challenge yourself to spend a little bit less money or you wanna challenge yourself not to buy new things because I definitely need to put myself through things like that once in a while. So I've got my 10 items on the rail, so let's see what I've got for you. So I've got my 10 items here and I also have some accessories, but the accessories are for our second video and that is going to be out on Friday so I'm going to show you 10 outfits using only 10 items but for now let me show you what are my spring basics first of all um, this is a basic for not just spring but for summer winter autumn any time of the year because a biker jacket is a staple in my wardrobe. Since I basically started buying clothes for myself, I have always owned some sort of biker jacket or some sort of leather jacket because this is just such an easy piece to wear. You don't have to go for a black one, you can always opt for, you know, a brown one or, you know, some other fun color. But black is just classic, it's very easy to put outfits with it. I like to go maybe a size bigger because I I like to layer. I think layering always creates interesting outfits because there are so many textures and colors going on. This one is the All Saints one and I bought it I think good four or five years ago and it is still in a great condition. They are an investment piece. Um, they are about 300 something, 400 pounds. However, I have to say that I have no complaints about this jacket at all. And of course, you can go for a more affordable one from H&M. They do some great ones. So does ASOS. But if you do want to invest um, into one more expensive one, trust me, it is going to last you a really long time. And I will leave the link to this particular one and to some similar ones in the description box below. Then we've got a white t-shirt. This is pretty self-explanatory. You know, just a plain white t-shirt for me is an absolute must-have. However, I have definitely given up spending a lot of money on white t-shirts. There is no point of spending even 30, 50 pounds, uh, even 20 pounds on a t-shirt like this because uh, I don't know, maybe you guys have some uh, amazing miracle tips on how to keep white t-shirts clean. But I am definitely that messy person who just gets marks all over, plus, you know, deodorant, sweat, etc, etc. Just be honest about it. So that is why I go for cheaper ones. I always said that Marks and Spencers do amazing white t-shirts for £3.50. You can literally buy five of them and it will last you the whole year. So I am easy with throwing them away once they get dirty. This one as well is the H&M one. I get them from Mems and this is the H&M Pima Cotton. I think that's how it's called. This is size extra small so I would definitely go for size smaller because the men's sizes are bigger. And we've got floral dresses. Flowery dresses are a great item for any wardrobe, for any season. It just depends where you live and what the dress is made of. If you're going for a short, very light summery dress, then probably it's not going to serve you in winter. However, this one I have from Free People and it is quite thicker and it's quite heavy. So sometimes, I will wear it in winter as well with a jumper or a turtleneck and you know a coat over it and then you kind of just have a skirt coming out but even if it's just a short summery dress um, you can style it so many ways. I did buy it a couple of years ago and I have to say I haven't really bought that many new flowery dresses since um, because I have a few that I absolutely love and I wear them every year um, through all the seasons. And I really like it, but I will definitely find and link something similar below. You can style it with sneaks, but you can always dress it up with a heel. Then we've got a pair of jeans. I mean, jeans, if you are not a jeans person, 
because I know there are people out there who don't like wearing jeans and I get it. But I'm definitely a jeans kind of girl. For me, it's a go-to item. Jeans, a jumper, a pair of sneaks, and I'm out of the house. I think for spring and summer, we can definitely put our darker denims away and get, you know, the lighter denim out. This is one of my favorite pairs. I've shown it to you before. I did get it at TK Maxx, but I have found some similar ones below. And they're just a white, high-waisted pair of light um, jeans, and I absolutely love them. And again, jeans, you can dress them up, you can dress them down, you can always put a sandal, a stiletto. And then we've got just a plain, simple jumper. Here, it kind of, it is up to you and your imagination. I decided to go for a colorful one. But you know, if we are talking essential, basic wardrobe, then maybe I would opt for camel, gray, or black jumper. But it's spring, you guys, and summer is coming, so hello, Sharky. You coming in? Yes, say I want to participate. I decided to go for a more colorful one because summer is here and this one is a really cute one from Mango. It was on sale and I think it was maybe £12 or something like that and it also comes in about four or five colors. So I will leave the link to that below. It's got a bit of a bat wing going on. I love loose jumpers like this because if you go for a more fitted jumper, that will um, sort of stop you from wearing it with oversized things underneath, be it oversized white shirts, maybe you have fuller dresses, maybe it's a skirt, whatever. But if you give a bit of room underneath, then it also gives you room to wear it with different things. You could always go for a blue, like a baby blue, looks great and it always works well with jeans, with white trousers. Next we have denim jacket. And denim jacket for me is like a biker jacket. I always have a biker jacket and a denim jacket and I wear them through the whole year because I will layer them on top of each other. So I will put a denim jacket underneath a biker. I will put denim jackets under uh, trench coats, under just plain, you know, classic camel coats. I'm showing you a bit of a different color to, you know, a normal blue denim. You stay. Okay, you stay. Make up your mind, Kat. And um, this is a really nice, like a muted khaki green color. This one is from Marks and Spencers and it's a little bit cropped. This whole cropped denim jacket thing is very in at the moment, but I don't think you have to follow all the trends that happen. I um, am not really into the whole neon trend. I haven't bought anything on neon color just because I like to buy pieces that will last me years that you know won't look or feel out of place but to be honest you make the fashion and you make your own style if something is out of fashion and you know vogue magazine is saying that you know that's past if whatever item you're wearing is making you feel good and making you you know look good when you look at yourself in the mirror you go for it that's what i say anyways back to the jacket it's almost a bit like military utility style it's got like these big pockets at the front it is available right now so i'll link it below as well then we've got a button down shirt and just a plain white button down shirt for me is a must have as well and jay always laughs because i buy so many white shirts like over and over again but i like to go for more interesting styles for example, this one from H&M Studio that I got a few years ago has like a big cutout here on the sides and it's longer at the back. It's definitely more oversized. I prefer oversized white shirts to very fitted ones. Kind of more of a comfort kind of girl. I don't like very fitted things. I don't like very skinny things. And then we've got a skirt and I wanted to say either a pleated skirt or you know like a midi skirt the same way as i am more of an oversized kind of girl i am also more of a more is more in a way that the more is covered the better i don't really like wearing very short skirts you will very rarely see me in a short skirt or pair of shorts i only wear very short shorts on a holiday unless you live somewhere you know like miami or you know somewhere by the beach I'm not as blessed. I don't live by the beach. I live by a canal with geese and ducks and boats. It's like a check skirt. It's a little bit longer at the back than it is at the front. And it just has this beautiful shades like oranges and pinks. I also have two pairs of shoes 
The first pair of shoes is a pair of sneaks. I mean, me without sneaks, that's just not happening. I'm showing you the pair of this ugly dad sneakers, more like a chunky one. This one is from Ash. I have shared it with you before and I absolutely love them. I have already been wearing them so, so much and I only got them maybe a month ago. So a pair of white sneaks, you can go for Converse, you can go for a Stan Smith, you can go for plain, you can go for colorful, whatever you know fits into your wardrobe better. And the last item that I have is a pair of ankle boots. I decided not to show like um, flats because um, depending where you live, here we are definitely nowhere near the weather where I can go for an open sandal. So things like sneaks and boots are absolutely perfect. And this is another pair of Ash boots, I got them together, but these have been the two pairs of shoes that I have been wearing non-stop and the heel is just so comfortable but at the same time gives you a little bit of a lift and that is it you guys these are all our 10 essential items I hope you enjoyed this video and please tune in on Friday because I'm going to be sharing 10 outfits with 10 items that I have shared with you today maybe ring the bell so you get notified about my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and I will see you very very soon in my next video bye